Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and what we got here today is a classic. This is going to be the Travis Scott One High, and this is the original ones, obviously, not the fragment ones. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get into this. Uh, I received these from Young Rich. Once again, that is Young Rich. I'll throw up their information right here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get into this. So, as always... We take a look at the box first. So, this box is completely destroyed, as you can see. Uh, this is how it came. Um, yeah, I mean, to me, it doesn't, I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me because it's not like I'm going to use the box for anything. But, yeah, box is destroyed. Bam, look at that. Uh, you got your yellow paper with the sickle face on it, your Cactus Jack, your Air Jordan, your Yankee Air. Then you got some white wax paper. Uh, you got your how to wear a pair of shoes in Chinese. Yep, that is it for the box because we don't really care about the box. Um, we'll take a look at the shoes. How about that, guys? Okay, so the shoes. Now there are some flaws on these. Um, I will point them out. But right off the bat, I do have to point out this suede is great. So this has not been hit up with the suede brush. Um, yeah, this is probably the most movement I have ever seen on a Travis Scott that I have reviewed uh so that is awesome it's buttery as hell all the way around looks great feels great yeah just extremely buttery suede and that is exactly how it's supposed to be uh yeah so you got your uh upside down swoosh here uh placement is correct this comes down right about here um on retails it kind of varies with the height uh sometimes it's a tad bit lower which on these ones it is except for the other one i'll show you guys the other one uh the swoosh is a bit too low on the other shoe uh, you got your sickle face right there correct position again just look at that suede movement awesome uh, in terms of hourglass shape there is there just is none uh they in fact they looked a bit squished uh to be honest uh, i will take a look at your midsole there is i don't know if that's glue or what but yeah a little bit of bleed it looks like it might be rubber from the midsole that's bled into the outsole actually it's just coming right off so i think it's just paint the bottom there's your bottom take a look at the tag that nike air looks beautiful that is crisp as hell and the good thing is that on some of the earlier ones the tag looked a bit pink because of the backing of it and on here it's the correct color your cactus jack right there on the back you have your nike jargon which is again nice and clear on the bottom we'll see if it has the serial number yes it does have the serial number barely visible on there but it is there uh, let's see we'll take a look at the other side and so this is a flaw right here. The cactus jack should be up a little bit more. This dash right here should be up in the stitching. Uh, to me, it's not a huge deal, but it's something you should look out for. Take the shoe tree. You will got your laces right here. Uh, they did give me some other ones. I'll show you those in a couple minutes. Uh, your cactus jack on the insole. Uh, I am going to do a black light test on these. I have no idea what it's going to look like. Uh, we'll take a look at the other shoe. 
other shoe. Again, just buttery ass suede. Again, I have never seen suede with that much movement. That is freaking awesome. That is exactly how it's supposed to be. Oh, you know what? So the swoosh on this one is correct. And on this one, it's a bit too low, as you can see. So you see how that goes down to there. It's this almost lines up with where that would come down and on this one it's pretty far forward you got a pretty big gap right here and you got that right here I mean to me it's not a huge deal but who knows to you maybe it is you're a sicko we'll take a look at both of them so you can get an idea looks good Again, no hourglass shape to speak of, but I don't care. Uh, the overall leather quality is really good. Nice, soft leather, as you can see. All around the entire shoe, just really nice and soft leather. Really high quality materials here. Take a look at that Nike tag again. Looks excellent. Cactus Jack looks excellent. Um, and on um, this one, again, a bit too low. Not a huge deal since the majority of people aren't even going to see that since it's white. Back of the tongue. And you can barely see the serial number under there. And on that one, you got your Nike Air. Uh, we'll take a look at the... If I can peel it up, I hate peeling this apart. They use the world's strongest Velcro to do this, it seems like, but I'll go ahead and peel it apart so you can see. Nice clean stitching in there. No like saggy material or whatnot. Um, there's actually been a couple reviews I've done of this and I totally forgot to do this because I totally forgot what that was even, even there. Yeah, oh, these are size 12. They do fit true to size. That is kind of weird. Look at that. It's in between there. It looks like they did not get the the rubber, the brown coloring in the rubber down far enough on there. Um, oh, the midsole. The color looks good. It's that cream color. Uh, laces, they give you plenty. You got a pair of white laces, got a pair of red laces, got a pair of dark brown laces, and you got your pink laces, and I'll be putting these in there like everybody else does. I did try the red in a pair I had before, and it, I don't know, it just didn't really look right. Okay, uh, black light test. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to turn the lights off. All right, we got the lights off. I'm gonna turn the light off on my camera. And that backlight is just my TV, but you should be able to see the black light pretty well. So looking at it, yeah, you do have guidelines going along the swoosh, along with the corner stitch right there. Uh, you do have your smudge right there, which is on retails. Again, you do have guidelines going around the swoosh and right there. Let's see the tongue. Yeah, this thing's covered in guidelines. Again, not a huge deal, and it really shouldn't be a huge deal to anybody who is planning on wearing, buying these to wear them. Um, it will be a huge deal for people who are buying them to scam people and say they're real. And I'm hoping that you are not one of those people. Because if you are, I don't want you on my channel. You can go ahead and unsubscribe because I do not want you on my channel. So, yeah. Oh, and then also, you got your tag right here. It doesn't glow, which is correct. And that doesn't. So, yeah. So that is uh, it. No, no marks on the bottom of the shoe and nothing there. 
All right, we'll go ahead and turn the lights on. All right, guys, so yeah. In my opinion, these look pretty good. I mean, yeah, there's there's a couple flaws, but nothing huge that anybody's really going to notice. Um, and honestly, I don't care. I mean, guys, you should be the same way. Wear the shoes. Stop worrying. You're not going to get called out. I've never been called out. It's not something that happens. Uh, so that is it, guys. Once again, I received these from Young Rich. Uh... I haven't gotten a discount code from them yet, but if they do give me one, I will throw it up right here. And yeah, guys, go ahead, check them out. So their website is kind of weird. Uh, the setup of it is kind of strange. Uh, they don't have a lot of shoes. I'll be honest with you. They're mo they mostly sell designer clothing, streetwear brands. So, yeah, I mean, if you're interested in that stuff, you can go ahead and check them out for that. Uh, they do have shoes, just not a ton of them. I mean, they have Travis, they have the Travis Scott 4s, they have these, I believe they have the Fragments, uh, they have a couple Dunks, they have the Sean Weatherspoon, uh, AM91, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, uh, 97 ones. So, yeah, guys, uh, check them out. Um... That is about it, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscription button. And last but not least, please make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified of when my next video drops. My next video will be dropping the day after tomorrow, and that's going to be a clothing review. Uh, in terms of shoes, I am dry, uh, but I will be doing at least four or five clothing reviews. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. And I'm out.